wakati wa kusaka chapa na Radio Maisha kuna zaidi ya shilingi milioni moja ya kushindaniwa mshindi mmoja wa laki moja kila wiki sikiliza Radio Maisha kila siku ili kupata vidokezo ambavyo vitakuelekeza katika eneo la kusaka chapa kwenye kaunti yako kaa tayari kaa chonjo ni saka chapa piga beta Radio Maisha Radio Zaidi Radio Inheriting schooling Go. Building, investing, saving or maybe retiring Achieve your dreams with the KCB Gold Savings Account Set the amount you want to save and how long you want to save for Deposit as often as you like at no extra cost Or even set up free standing orders Enjoy Kenya's highest earning interest rate by visiting any KCB branch today and opening a KCB Gold Savings Account. KCB Bank. Go ahead. This is KTN News. Very good morning and welcome to Weekend Express. I am Abu Bakar Abdullahi. We have a packed bulletin and more so conversations surrounding security and education. But first, let's get to the top stories that are making our headlines at this hour. Spot over an incident in which a 14-year-old girl was defiled inside Tigoni police cell in Kiambu County. The girl, an orphan, was allegedly abused inside a male cell where she was being given police protection. And to make the matter worse, the juvenile is now suspected to be pregnant. And as our crime and investigative reporter Hussein Mohammed now reports, the girl has been taken to a children's facility as the matter is being probed. Around the country, Class 8 pupils are winding up their final exams, a delightful experience for all candidates as they prepare to transition to secondary schools. But in the cold Limuru Plains, a 14-year-old Class 8 pupil is experiencing sheer terror. She's nursing wounds following a two-week defilement ordeal she allegedly went through at the Tigoni police station where she was being held in protective custody. She alleges in a statement she recorded on October 3, 2018, that she was defiled by her fellow Rimandi. The girl says she was locked in a cell with male Rimandis, with one of them allegedly committing the terrible acts on her. She says she screamed inside the cell, but no one paid attention. KTN News has since confirmed that there are three cells in Tigoni Police Station, and as to why a girl was put together with male Rimandis remains a puzzle. It, it is disturbing and it is uh, heartbreaking because we get these stories almost every other day. And the challenge is, if the system is broken, where will people go for help, and especially children? On a daily night routine, the National Police Service has an orderly officer who is an inspector, a duty officer who is a police corporal, one crime standby, a police constable, and two cell sentry and the report officer 